What exactly is altitude sickness? I think, I think, I think it might be a burger or a pizza. Oh, chump hum. We can develop altitude sickness if we climb rapidly. Our body is not able to adjust to reduced oxygen, as well as changes in air pressure. Hmm. The mildest form of acute mountain sickness, or AMS, typically occurs above 2,500 meters, with symptoms such as headaches, tiredness, dizziness, etc. It can further progress to high-altitude pulmonary huh? edema, thus making it difficult to breathe, and further to high-altitude cerebral edema, huh? as in swelling of the brain. The best way of preventing altitude sickness is to increase elevation by no more than 300 meters per day. Hmm. What is the huh? science behind a jellyfish's sting? No idea. I bunked all my science classes. Oh, chum pum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house many needle like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Hmm. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. Can zebras be domesticated? Impossible. You see what they did to me? Ooh. Oh, chum pum. Firstly, zebras are known to have one of the strongest kicks in the animal kingdom. Secondly, zebras are known to have an extremely powerful bite. Thirdly, as compared to horses, it is extremely difficult to capture a zebra using a lasso, as zebras have a very efficient built-in ducking reflex. Hmm. Lastly, horses have a strong family structure. If the head of the family is captured, then the rest of the family follows him. The same is not the case with a zebra. Hmm. Why is ketchup so difficult to pour? No problem. Just use a tomato. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Firstly, as compared to water, ketchup has a higher viscosity. Viscosity is the resistance of a fluid to flowing. That means ketchup provides more resistance to flowing as compared to water. Ketchup consists of many ingredients. But if we look closely, the solid parts of the ketchup as in the tomato bits, are actually touching each other. This physical connection of the tomato bits gives ketchup the strength to resist flowing. Hence, ketchup is so hard to pour. Hmm. What is the huh? science behind a jellyfish's sting? No idea. I bunked all my science classes. Oh, chum pum. Jellyfish's tentacles contain thousands of venom containing stinging cells called conidocytes. Conidocytes are basically small compartments which house many needle like stingers. The stinger lies coiled under high osmotic pressure. Hmm. Now, when there is a trigger due to an external force, the lid of the stinging cell pops open and seawater rushes in. This forces the mini needle like stinger to shoot out, penetrate, and finally inject venom into the victim. This discharge can occur in less than one millionth of a second. This is how a jellyfish stings. Hmm. Why does my foot fall asleep? Don't worry, I will wake it up. Oh, chum pum. Nerves are like cables which run through our entire body. Their main function is to carry electrical impulses or messages between our brain and our body. Now, when we sit on our foot, the nerves in that area are temporarily compressed. Hence, these nerves are not able to send any message to our brain or receive any message from our brain. As a result, the connection between our brain and our foot is cut off. Hence, it feels like our foot has fallen asleep. Hmm. Why do humans have so many moles? Simple, because I invented them. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Our skin has cells called melanocytes. They give our skin its color. However, sometimes these cells tend to grow in clusters, thus huh? forming moles. Moles can be present at birth or can appear later in life. Huh? They are usually black or brown and can be flat or raised. Some moles may even disappear with age. <laughs> hmm. How can some people predict rain? Simple, by using their sixth sense. Oh, chum pum. 
Lightning usually occurs just before the beginning of heavy rainfall. Nitrogen and oxygen molecules which are present in the atmosphere are split by the lightning bolts. This eventually leads to the production of ozone. Now, strong blowing winds carry this ozone downward along with them. Ozone is a very sharp smelling gas. When a person smells this ozone, it helps him predict the rain. Hmm. Why are we afraid of the dark? Chum Pum is not afraid. Chum Pum loves ghosts. Oh, Chum Pum. In prehistoric times, especially at night, our ancestors were at high risk of being attacked by predators or enemies. Hence, through evolution, the tendency to fear darkness developed in us. Also, as we cannot see properly in the dark, we become anxious and start to imagine the worst possible outcomes. Hence, we are afraid of the dark. Hmm. Does it rain diamonds huh? on Jupiter and Saturn? <laughs> yes, and Chum Pum is going to catch all of them. Oh, Chum Pum. Scientists believe that it can actually rain diamonds on Jupiter and Saturn. Hmm. These planets have methane-rich atmospheres. During storms, lightning turns methane present huh? in clouds into soot. As soot begins to fall, it is subjected to intense temperatures and pressures. These conditions squeeze the soot into chunks of graphite. As the pressure increases, graphite is compressed, making it literally rain diamonds. Hmm. Why do humans have a belly button? Simple, to do belly dance. Oh, chum pum! When a baby is growing inside a mother's womb, it is not possible for the baby to eat food like us. The umbilical cord carries nutrients from the mother to the baby. Also, it takes away the waste which the baby does not need anymore. Now, when the baby is born, it does not need the umbilical cord anymore. Hence, the doctor cuts the umbilical cord, leaving behind a tiny stump. This stump falls off after a few weeks. This is how we get our belly button. What is sleep paralysis? Simple. This is sleep paralysis. Huh? Oh, chum pum. Sleep paralysis usually occurs when we are dreaming in a REM sleep, as in rapid eye movement sleep. Researchers suggest that when we enter REM sleep, two chemicals, huh? as in GABA and glycine, switch off the activity of our cells. This is done to stop us from enacting our dreams and getting hurt. Huh? Hmm. Now, if we suddenly wake up during the REM sleep, but if GABA and glycine are still active, then even though we are conscious, we are temporarily unable to move. This is called as sleep paralysis. Hmm. Why do we dream? Simple. Because Chum Pum is a superhero in all the dreams. Oh, Chum Pum. One theory suggests that we dream to fulfill our wishes. It states that we are not able to express all our thoughts consciously. Hence, some of them find their way via dreams. Another theory called threat stimulation suggests that dreams are basically a defense mechanism. For example, nightmares put us in threatening situations, thus allowing us to practice our fight-or-flight response. Some people also believe that dreams don't really mean anything. Hmm. 